Good afternoon, Becky. Well, hello, Chris. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. As you can, I guess people can guess what we're about today by the fact of where you are and what I'm wearing. I'm rather hoping that they've realised that we're, we're going to do come and cook today and we're going to come, come and make a pizza. Come and make a pizza. That's great, because last time we looked at feeding birds and this time we look at feeding ourselves. That's true. That's Oh, that's very wise. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. I thought I just thought that one up. That was just right. straight to me. But we're, we're, we've done all sorts of lovely cooking and various different activities. And through, but through when it was locked down and nobody was at school, we did them in the day. And yeah. now what we're doing is we're moving them to this Thursday of the month at 4.15, aren't we? Exactly. And that means that people can see this when they come home from school and they can watch it and they can have a go later on if they want to. And today it's something they can have for their tea, which I think is quite nice. I think I'm, I'm, I've been ordered to make mine sure that mine is tea. So I'm going to get, get my microphone off and I'm going to disappear and wash my hands on the way, Becky, because that's important. Can I also suggest that you roll your sleeves up because you might get flour on your cuffs? Thank you very much, Becky. Wise advice. Thank you. I'll do that on the way and, I, and I'll let you introduce our helpers today. Lovely. Thanks, Chris. Well, we've got Poppy and Daisy helping us today. Where are they? Here they come. Hello, Poppy. Hello, Daisy. Hi. Hi. Hi, we've got Margaret and we've got Amy there as well to help them. Have you both Hello. had a good day at school? Hello. Good day at school, everybody. Yeah? Yeah. Busy, busy day? All right, well, we're going to make our pizzas, aren't we? And we're going to hopefully get them done in time for you to have them tonight. And even if you've got one, because we're going to make two small ones, and you could take one tomorrow for a packed lunch. Do you have a packed lunch or do you have 
Poppy quite likes that idea by the look on her face. <laughs> well, if not, and you've got one left over, you could always put it in the freezer for another day because they freeze really well. And then you can take it out and put it into the oven to warm it up later if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's a good idea. That would give you, you know, lunch on Saturday or something, wouldn't it? So you've got your aprons on and you've got your hands washed and you're nice and clean. And here's Chris. He's got his apron. His hands are clean. So we've got our ingredients. And the first thing we need to do is make sure that our oven is turned on to gas mark seven, which is 210 or 190 if you've got a fan oven. OK, mine's already on. I don't know if you can hear it. Mine's got a sort of quite loud fan. And the next thing to do is grease our baking tray. Now, mine's a solid one. So I'm going to just drizzle some oil on it like this, just all over like that. But if you have got one of these ones, which is a pizza tray, that's got holes in it. And the thing about bread is that when it rises, sometimes, boy, well, it always goes upwards. But if it can find a hole, it'll go downwards as well. So if you want to use one of those, you need to put a piece of paper on it. They're really best for ones that you buy from the shop that are pretty much cooked already. So if you use one of those, a piece of paper and then a bit of oil on the paper. All right. So now we can get started. Are you all ready? Yeah, ready to start? No, no, I, I don't know. Oh, I'm ready to start. You're ready to start. Okay, now we've all got a big bag of flour and we need to cut the knot off our bag of flour and tip that into our mixing bowl. And this is strong flour. It's the sort of flour that you would use if you were going to make bread. Our pizza base is really, it's a bread mixture. So all of our flour into our big mixing bowl. And that's 200 grams, Becky, yeah? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's 200 grams of strong flour. You can do it with brown flour if you want to. If you're gluten free, it's really difficult actually to make good bread gluten free. But you can get a gluten-free bread mix, and that would be the way to go about it if you wanted to do that. Yeah. And into our flour, we're going to put in some salt and some sugar, and we've all got it in a little twist of foil. We've got one teaspoon of sugar, and that feeds the yeast and helps it to produce the gas so it rises. And then we've got half a teaspoon of salt, and that is to add flavour and to make sure that the yeast does stop eventually because we don't want it producing gas in our tummies, you see. Mm. All right. So when that's in, what does sugar do, Becky? The sugar feeds the yeast and encourages it to produce carbon dioxide. That's the raising agent. Okay. All right. Back. Salt the sugar in and then stir with your knife. And the reason you get that stirred in is because the next thing to go in is the yeast. Now, if yeast touches salt directly, it dies and it just won't work. So you've got to make sure you put the salt in before you get the scissors, cut the top off the packet, and then pour your yeast in. There it goes. And that's dried yeast. The bakers will sell you fresh yeast sometimes, and all you would do with that is dissolve it in the warm water and then add it with the water. Okay. But we've got the dried stuff because it's just easier. So we'll give that a stir, round and round. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the next thing is our water. Oh, yes. So we're going to need a total of 140, and you need to put boiling and cold into a jug, and that will give you warm water. So I've already put 100 of cold in my jug, and I'm going to add 40 of boiling out of my new kettle. Look Ooh, at that. I'm going to do my water, Becky. Okay. For just 40. We see the steam. Gosh, that's really hot. Do be careful. You might need a grown-up to help you. So 140 of warm, mix them together, the boiling and the cold, in the jug. Because if you put cold in first, then put boiling in, the boiling won't, the yeast won't like that. You might kill it. So mix them together in the jug, cold and boiling, and that gives you warm. All right. And then to that, we're going to add a dessert spoon of olive oil to our water. And Becky, do we have to just make a little basin to put the water in or just pour it in any old how? It's going to go in out of the jug. You mean like a well? Yeah. No. No, just pour it in. Can I pour it in now? Have you got your olive oil in there? 
Got no olive oil in the water. Yeah, dessert spoon of olive oil. Yeah, do that. That's fine. And then, and then it just goes in, splash, just like that. Yeah, I'll just make sure. And then you stir. You can use a knife or a spatula, doesn't matter too much. Stir, get that water mixed in. Turn your bowl round as you go. What does the oil do, Becky? Well, it, usually when people make bread, they rub in some butter or some margarine and it makes it more digestible. But because pizza is very Italian, it makes a lot of sense to use olive oil. Yeah. And it's because you're getting your fingers messy in there with margarine. It just means you've got some fat, some oil, and it just makes it more digestible. So when you chew it, it doesn't go round your mouth. Oh, you, right. then, you know, it, it's nicer to eat. So we're yeah. stirring and we should start to see that it begins to clump together. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting yeah. clumps. Clumps, yeah. And you really want to get everything from the bowl mixed in with it. So clean off your knife. And then you're going to use one hand. Hold the bowl with one of your hands. Take the other one and very gently start to mix. Now, we have got a bit of extra flour, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Just in case. So I've cut mine open, put it on the worktop. And I'm going to just get some flour on my fingers and go in there and start to mix it up. Give it a squeeze. Get it into a dough. Nice lump of dough. It's a bit sticky. That's all right because we've all made bread before and we know that actually wetter is better for bread. So if it's a bit sticky, don't worry because it will make nicer bread, a bread base for your pizza. Right. Have you got a dough? If, I, if, if I've got... It's not for it's it's too dry. Can I add another little drop of water? Well, you can do. How dry is it? Can you show me? I think if you tip that tip that out onto the worktop with the dry stuff. Yeah. Tip the dry out as well. Yeah. And then start kneading, and it will soak up that dry stuff. Okay. Thank you. All right. As you work it, it just gets a bit more moist. Yeah. Oh yes, it is now. I'm glad I didn't add yeah. any. Yeah. And then I've got some of my flour. I'm bringing it over so that I'm kneading. Now, kneading is squeezing and using your knuckles and pushing into it. Right. right we need to put a little bit put that to the side. And then put this. That's a good job, Grandma's there, Daisy. That's lovely. I'm glad you've got help. <laughs> help, Becky. Now, kneading is kind of a rhythmic thing, and you can build up a sort of a right and a left and a right and a left but it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you just stretch that flour and encourage the gluten to develop and get into long strands. And you need strong flour for this because it's quite hard work for this poor dough. Becky, right. I'm going the opposite of feeling too dry to say it's feeling too wet. Do I just then add a little bit of the flour from my bag? You know your, yeah, you know your little bag of flour. Have you opened that yet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just bring some across and just... Gradually work in a little bit. Don't go mad because it's easier if your dough is a little bit on the wet side, Chris. Okay. All right. And we generally need for sort of, well, until we get tired, but I don't really think we've got time for that. So if we just need for a couple of minutes until it looks smooth and then we'll stop. Right. That's what mine looks like. Yeah. Love Anybody that. got that kind of a look yet? Mine's quite sticky to my fingers still. I think Put I... Put more flour on then. A little bit more flour. A bit more flour. There oh, we go. that looks lovely. Poppy, that looks great. You're doing a good job with kneading. I like that. Now, Chris, too. Yeah. You look Daisy. sure you're getting a bit sick. Now, Daisy, when you're, if you've got very hot hands, if you're a hot handed person, sometimes your dough does get very sticky. And also, if you dig your fingers in, it will get sticky. So try and use the flat right, bit of your hand. hand. All right. And then it won't stick to you so much. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do. That's the last question, Becky. Is it true that hot hands are good for making bread? Yes, hot hands are good for bread, cold hands for pastry. That's what I remember from when I was at school. Oh, I'm glad somebody taught you well, Chris. Yeah, I had medium hands, so not good for either. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you played football or no, yeah, it was I mean, yeah, more, more like football than yeah, but yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I think I remembered. 
Okay, now I think we can probably stop kneading because okay. for pizza you don't have to knead a huge amount. What we've actually got here is a bread mixture and if you wanted to make yourself bread rolls, this is exactly how you would start off and then you would shape them. But we're gonna use this for our base. So we're gonna cut it in half because we want to make two. So use your knife or break it and see if you can get two about the same size. It's not crucial, they don't have to be the same. Yeah, that looks good, yeah. And then work on one of them and see if you can make it into a flat circle about 20 centimeters, which for me is between my thumb and my little finger. And for Daisy, it's probably one and a half times of her space between her thumb and her little finger, because she's got smaller hands than me. And we're gonna press this out to be this circle of about that size. And you can thump it with your fist. It doesn't matter if it's not round, it can be Isle of Wight shaped, that's okay. But round and round and try and get it into a sort of a pancake, like that. Oh, you can't see it because it's so pale. I'll pick it up. Here it is. Now it was round when I picked it up, it's now gone a bit oval, which is fine. That's the sort of shape and size you're looking for. Okay. And that goes onto your baking tray, right? Now, mine has lost its shape, so I'm going to just give it a bit of a push on the tray. Right, there's my first one. How thin is it, Becky? It's not very thin. It's probably a centimetre. Yeah. About that sort of thickness. Yeah. You can make it a bit thinner if you like. It will get bigger, obviously, if you make it thinner. Yeah. So there's my first one. How are the girls yeah. doing? Oh, very well. Look at that. Margaret's got hold of a lovely one there. That's brilliant. Yeah, fabulous. Get that one on your tray then, and then we'll do the other one. That's, that's Daisy slapping her dough to make it round. Fair enough. And probably good <laughs> idea. I like that. <laughs> I'll do <laughs> They throw the pizza dough around a bit, don't they? I've seen it in yeah. Italian restaurants. I'm not doing that. No, please don't. That's very cavalier. And the trouble is, if you drop it, you've got to throw it away. You're absolutely right. Why do they do that just for show? That doesn't yes. really get any better. They are absolute show-offs. It doesn't yeah. do anything to it at all. They're just showing off. And they're usually very gorgeous and very Italian looking. Yeah. And we all love to see it happen. But it doesn't do anything for the pizza at all. Oh, that's that's good. I, 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 I won't be cavalier then. That's what no, I'll say. No, please don't be cavalier. <laughs> right, second one. Yeah. Now, my second one isn't going as well as my first one. <clears throat> it's quite sticky. I'm going to put it on the tray <clears throat> and persuade it to go round. There we are. My second one's better than my first one, I think, but, but I've decided not to go for round. What shape have you gone with then? Um, rhombus. What? Oh, a rhombus. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One's got parallel sides. And the others are not four sides. Well, it was better until I until I started to move it. Well, when you pick it up, it'll probably change its shape a bit. Yeah. How are the girls? I like the Isle of Wight. I like your Isle of Wight picture. Oh, Good. The Isle of Wight. The Isle of Wight is very handy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that. Oh, Ireland's another good shape. You can always do Ireland. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Right, how's it going? Amy, that looks promising, yes. Very good. Oh, oh my. Wow. beautiful. Oh, I'm so impressed. Let's see. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Well done. <laughs> Be careful. It'll fall on the floor, then you'll have lost it. Be careful. All right. Now, next thing. That's Chris. They're very good. That's Thank brilliant. You. That's the affirmation, Becky. Thank you. Wonderful. Now, the next thing is the tomato -y stuff for the top. Can you get yeah. your lids off? It's quite tight. And we're going to put one dessert spoon on the top of each of our pizzas. And then we're going to use the back of the spoon to spread it around, right as far as you can get it towards the edge, as close to the edge as you can go. And is this just like, this is pizza topping sauce that you can get, Becky? This is, yes, this is from Sainsbury's. There are other supermarkets, but yeah. this is a tomato and basil pizza topper. But you can use those... Um, bolognese type sauces that you get in slightly bigger jars sure anything anything that you like i wouldn't recommend tomato ketchup 
No. That no. goes a bit brown when you cook it. So you mm. need something that's a bit of a sauce, really. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. Smells nice. Yeah. So up to the edges. Yeah. Give your spoon a bit of a shake, and then anything that's stuck to it will come off. That's it. Now, at this stage, if you want to, you can add um, tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. We've got one or two little tiny fresh tomatoes. You can put those on if you want to. You don't have to. If you're doing this later on at home, you could put on some ham and pineapple. You could put on olives. Um, what else do people like? Salami. Anything? Mushroom. Mushrooms. Mushrooms give off a lot of water, so it will take longer to cook if you put mushrooms on. Would you um, pre cook them, Becky? Or would you, you cook could fry them? Yeah, you could fry them first and put on some fried mushrooms. And I always put all of those extra things underneath the cheese. Oh, yeah. So it's tomato. Tomatoes, you cut in half, Becky. I'm cutting mine in half simply because they're a bit big. I don't know if mine are bigger than yours, but no, I think no, they're no. a little bit too big, actually. So I've cut them in half. Yeah, I'll do that. Using the oh, That's all. where I am so far. Yeah. And if I was having ham and pineapple, I'd put that on now. The more topping you put on, the longer your pizza takes to cook. And do you, when you cut the tomato in half, Becky, do you put round sides down or flat side down? I put everything flat side down because then it doesn't wobble off. Thank, that's a very good. That's a very good piece of advice. Just one of those things. When you're as old as me, you'll realise that things that are round wobble. <laughs> things, you know, like apples. Apples, yeah. tomatoes, anything of those. Cut them in half, yeah. cut side down, and then they're there and they stay on the chopping board. Such a good piece of advice. Lovely. Now, cheese next, then. Yeah. Try and get it right up to the edges and pretty much covering. It'll be a thin layer. Now, um, is that okay like that so far? That's so beautiful. Far. That's very yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Lots of Italians put mozzarella on their pizzas, and it's a very wet cheese. If you want to use mozzarella, again, because it's so wet, it will take longer for your pizza to cook. Mm -hmm. So we've got cheddar, because it's got a better flavour. Mozzarella doesn't taste of a whole lot, does it? Just goes stringy. It's nice. I like it, but it's quite stringy, isn't it? It's nice. It gives you those long strings when you, when you bite into it. You could use a bit of mozzarella and cheddar, so you get the flavour mm. and then that stringiness. But... Um, it's entirely up to you, really. But I know we've all got the same stuff so that we all are on the same page, aren't we? Right, I'm going to get back to my cheese. There we are. And then this goes in the oven for, it says 15 to 20 minutes on the recipe, but honestly, it's nearer to 20 because you really want those edges to be nice and crispy. That way, you know that the middle underneath is done as well. So how are we doing, everybody? I'm nearly there. I'm struggling with the cheese. Daisy's all right. What are you doing then, Chris? Well, Daisy's done a great job. Let's see, Daisy. Can you gently just, and Poppy, tip it slightly, just a tiny bit? Don't let it fall out. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, they're brilliant. That's perfect. They can go in the oven now. And I've got a pepper. Let me see. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. No tomatoes on there, Daisy? No. No, we don't like it. tomatoes. You did. Brilliant. That's fabulous. Daisy's. That's very oh. lovely, Daisy. Chris, they're good too. They're very good. Mm -hmm. Right, in the oven. Okay. And then you need to set the timer for, for I would set it for 18 minutes because that's a bit more than 15 and a bit less than 20. Yeah. And then when they're done, this is what they'll look like, right? That's what you're aiming for. Cool. Here are some I made earlier. This is like Blue Peter. It is. And Becky, when they yeah. cook, do they expand a bit? A tiny bit, not a lot. They make <laughs> mostly the gluten, the, 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 the yeast makes it get fatter rather than wider. Yeah, the yeast makes it lighter. So inside there, you've got lots and lots of little tiny bubbles. Yeah. If you, if you left it to rise, you would get a much, much higher dough. But we don't want that. We don't no. want our pizzas to be so big that everything slides off. So that's why we haven't left it to rise. We've just simply used it straight away. And then you get a lighter base that's not too high. So there you are. Fabulous. And we can we can all cook those. We can put pictures on the Facebook page later of what they look we like. Can. And I tell you what would be fun if somebody put one in their pizza box 
a picture of it in our pizza box. A picture in our pizza box. And I thought it might be quite fun if you made a, um, a label for the front. Mine's called Becky's Brilliant Pizza. Poppy's is Perfect Pizza. Daisy's is Delicious Pizza, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And Chris's is Cracking Pizza. It's Cracking Pizza. Do you know so, what? what? I might do that. This could be Helen's tea with some salad when she gets home. She's been at work all day. And oh. I'll put it in the box to bring it into her, I think. Oh, perfect. Put some grease proof in the bottom. Yeah. And then put your pizza on the grease proof and serve it in the box. How cool is that? Thanks for washing up. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Becky, thank you. I'm going to go through to the other place and we'll talk about what we're going to do next. I'll go through to my study. All fact. right, then. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll, see, we'll see next. you in a minute, then. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So Daisy and Poppy, have you got them in the oven? Mummy's written our names on them so then we don't forget who it is who's. Oh gosh, that's a very good idea. We don't have any arguments about which is which, do we? No. 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 And who's going to eat yours? Mine. Me. No. Me. I'm me. eating mine, Daisy's eating hers. Well, you've made four, so you've got enough for four people. <laughs> I might have mine in my pack lunch. Oh, I'm afraid. Oh, that's a demo. For another day. What about Grandma? Are you going to get any? I don't. Uh, I've got my tea in the oven time set at home. Oh, you're very <laughs> organised. Because the trouble is, husband's going to want feeding as well. This is true. This is true. Well, thank you very much, Margaret. We couldn't have done it without you because it was a bit of a race today to get everything done in time. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, girls. That was wonderful. Well done. I hope you enjoy eating them. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome. Good to see you, Bye. Daisy, Bobby. Bye. 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 Well, Chris. Well, it's tea sorted. Absolutely. Thursday's often a bit fraught in our household because I have to cook tea and I, I always forget about it. So now I've done it. Oh. That's perfect. Well, I'm pleased oh. about that. Perfect with salad. Is that what you're going to serve it with? That's what can be served with. Yeah. A mixture of salad leaves and a few tomatoes. So we'll have the cooked and the non-cooked tomatoes combination, all sorts of things. Very exciting. Yeah. Olives or something like that. Yeah. Perfect. We do, um, next time. When's the next one, Becky? The next one is going to be on the 22nd of October. Yeah. Quarter past four. And we're going to do come and grow. Ah. So we're planting things. I'm not telling you what. It's a surprise. Oh, excellent. So we'll, we'll look forward to that. And please do, if you've watched this and you've enjoyed it, share it with other people um and if you want to share it and something and someone shared it to you we'd love you just to keep sharing it wouldn't we becky really and um just just enjoy what it is that we're doing together that's right we'd love to see how other people are having a go at this though and um you know share it around and, and let everybody have a little go at making themselves a pizza i think that's great fabulous thank you ever so much becky and Not thank you Daisy and poppy and margaret and amy and um We'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.